Shalom, giving all praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rechakadash. Shalom, Lava Kariam, Shah, Yasharala, that's peace to the hopeful election of the nation of Israel. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh, Yah, He, Hawa, existing or is, Bahashim, in the name of Yahweh Shah, Yah, He, Hawa Shah, Savior or Deliver. Well, we got some uh, some articles coming out, and this is uh, this is heating up with North Korea and South Korea. And they just flew some drones over. Um, North Korea has been doing this the whole year. Hey, what's going on, brother? But uh, right now we see South Korea has fired back. They even lost one of their jets. Now these jets cost millions of dollars behind this here. So the tensions are picking up, and we got one more week to the end of this year. And this is serious business right here. Because once you start flying these drones, these are actually unmanned jets, man. Once you start flying these over the uh, the head of your enemy, you, you mean you mean big business. And what I mean by that is one of them came so close. I think they said it was a few uh, hundred feet over the capital of uh, South Korea. <clears throat> so this is uh, this is this is this is this is a threat. This is a threat. This is the war and rumors of war part. We gonna get into this, but uh, before we do, I just want to read one scripture. This thing is intensifying right now. Uh, this is Ezekiel seven verse twenty-five. Destruction cometh, yes it is, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall come upon rumor. What's some of the rumor? Rumors of wars. Man, this thing is gonna mount up. You know, this thing is really adding up. Then shall they seek, oh, so, so like, let me read 26 again. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests, and counsel from the ancients. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. And I will do unto them after their way, and according to their deserts will I judge them. And they shall know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, man. And, and this is what we're going to <clears throat> as we go in, as we end this year off right, man. Yeah, this is tasty. I, I keep my eyes on uh on north and the north and south over there in Korea, man. Because they they neighbors, they right next door. And America's been training with the South all year. For the coming attack on the north. So let's get into a little bit of this video. So, you know, and World War III threats from Medvedev. So, wars, rumors of wars. Now, here's some more of that. This time we switch over to North and South Korea and that border, as now North Korea has sent a squadron of drones over. Check this out. This morning, the eyes of the world on North Korea escalating tensions in the region after Kim Jong-un sent drones over South Korea, the first time they've done so since 2017. But just the latest in a string of recent provocations. NBC's Ali Aruzi has the very latest on the threat. Ali, good morning to you. Good morning, Chris, and that's right, another brazen act of provocation by the North Koreans. This morning, they launched five drones into South Korea, uh, making it a very tense situation for the South Koreans. Uh, they ground uh, flights at uh, two airports this morning, and they were forced to scramble fighter jets and attack helicopters to try and bring down those dr drones that were launched into their territory. Uh, one of the five drones flew very close to the capital, to the northern parts of Seoul. The other four were detected on the east coast. Uh, they sh the South Koreans fired something like a hundred shots at the drones, but they weren't able to bring them down. They lost uh, track of them. The South Koreans even crashed one of their own aircraft in an attempt to bring down those drones. Their pilots are said to be safe after that crash. And this morning, the South Koreans also launched their own reconnaissance missions of drones into North Korea, uh, saying that it it was a corresponding mission, which seems to suggest that the North Korean drones were also on a surveillance mission uh, in the South. Kristen, this is the first time they've launched drones into South Korea since 2017, and the South Koreans say that this was a very provocative act in their airspace. Mm, just incredibly disconcerting. And Ali, just to put this into a broader context, this comes as tensions have already been rising in the region. What can you tell us about that? 
Uh, that's right. Uh, the North Koreans have launched uh, over 90 missile uh, attacks into or tests into uh, the South Korean area. That's more than they've done in any other year so far. That's in defiance of uh, UN resolutions banning ballistic missile tests and other nuclear devices. But the North just keeps ramping it up this year. They have uh, military parades and these are all signals and warnings, not only to Seoul, Kristen, but also to Washington. So we can expect more of this going into 2023. Yeah, Washington and the world. Oh, yeah, you got to throw Washington close. in there, you know, because this is all the sun. Let's, let's stay right here in the, uh, let's stay right here in Ezekiel. Where we at? Come on. Let's stay right here. Right here. You got to throw them in there. You got to throw the, the beast because it's all going to lead down to her. This is uh, Ezekiel 7, verse 6. And in this come, an end of what? An end of Esau's world. Second Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. This eon, this age, the tolls that you read about in Daniel is the second chapter, the tolls of the statue, okay, which is the EU. They're coming down, man. Revelation 17. Revelation 18, man. <laughs> this thing is happening, Akim, Akwath. This thing is going down, man. So it says, an end is come. The end is come. He had to stress that. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. What does it mean by that? Meaning, in other words, there's a set time. There's a time stamp set on this man's kingdom, man. You know? So it watches for. The Lord ain't waiting for this man to give it up. This thing has been set already in the heavens. Job 14 verse 5 Seeing his days are determined The number of his months Are with thee Thou hast appointed his bounds That he cannot pass man. So that time Is watching for him His time is short It's running out That's why everything is happening in the world And this beast right here The whore is looking very weak right now Let me see let's get this in the NLT What was that Job 14 Verse 5. This is in the NLT. Right? Job 14, verse 5. NLT on the right-hand side. You have decided the length of our lives. So yes, he did. And the lifespan of this whore here, Great Babylon, has been weighed in the balance. You know how many months we will live. And we are not given a minute longer so the end is watching for this guy this guy is not going to be given a minute longer to do what he want to do that's why the nations are rising up that's why when you go into isaiah the 14th chapter they tell you oh lucifer how art thou falling from heaven man the lord is bringing them down you know and it's a beautiful sight but it's something i'm gonna um in the beginning of this video there was some footage show and um, you know, this place better get ready for get ready for this here, man. You know, as we moving on, there's gonna be occupation here. Occupation, yes, right, that's right. In the beast, Chinese soldiers over here, Russian soldiers over here. Occupation, man, and if war time is gonna be on. Let's check out a little bit of this here. Okay, in a building where there are fortified, trying to find an escape route. According to the information, there was a large-scale arson attack on their positions in the afternoon. It's now clear that the Americans, the British, and the Poles, and other mercenaries are keeping Bakhmut's defenses and the following dialogue up in this video. But I'll just go ahead and show it to you. It's just over a minute long, and you can see what it's like up close to personal fighting in Ukraine. And mind you, before we go in, these, these, are, um, these are American soldiers. American soldiers. Now these a lot of these soldiers were sent over there to try to to, 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 to monitor the equipment. <laughs> but that was just an excuse to get these American soldiers' boots on the ground. And I just read another article where they said, you know, the digital all, the whole for elect know what, what I'm talking about, the MOTB, is gonna come out of Ukraine, but we gotta see what's gonna happen because every citizen that they're allowing to go back, because you know, certain parts of U Ukraine is occupied right now but and so they are letting the citizens come back they got to live off the digital system it's an app on their phone that they got to run their whole life off this app now 
Is everyone all right? Get in the fucking building. Oh shit, is everyone alright? Is everybody alright? Building right there. You see it? No, no, which one? The impacts. Look at the impacts. The brick. That's oh yeah, yeah. They're shooting at that. Violence. That's what violence was Babylon cast down, man. Let me get that. Uh, Y'all about your mouth shots not playing, man. That's why we stand on the alert. You know, and that's that's recent fighting right there. They going in. They going in. You know, uh, let me see this here. <clears throat> mm-hmm. This is Revelations 18, verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. Give it all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakakadash. Shalom.